I bless you with not shaking your hand and not countenancing what you've done to your workers. You you've oppressed your workers, you've kept off their wages, and what's it's this I hear about destroying information you know that a judge true. asked yeah. you to take? That's not, that's not I'm true. very that's concerned, true. and that's, that's why you're not going to come to Chillicothe, Ohio, after you've oppressed your workers and come to us who support workers in this state. Sure. We're, no we're matter sure who about. we are. We're sure about we're, uh, In this place. We're, we're sure. Uh, U.S. Senate candidate Bernie Marino exchanging words with a handful of protesters today in Chillicothe who accused him, as you heard, of oppressing and refusing to pay his workers. But the Ross County Republican Party headquarters was packed with supporters who listened as Marino promised to stop illegal immigration and join Donald Trump in returning the U.S. to a position of power on the global stage. Marino also told me today's 1,000-point plot on the stock market can be blamed on the White House and his opponent, Senator Sherrod Brown. What you're seeing is the result of these catastrophic left-wing policies. You know, we have a commander-in-chief that's really not capable of doing their job. I talked about that in a press conference that wasn't covered so much. But uh, three, four weeks ago, we talked about the greatest cover-up in political history. Marino blames Kamala Harris and Sherrod Brown for taking part in that cover-up. As for the stock market plunge, the Democratic Party points out that the government does not control the stock market. And in a statement, the Brown campaign tells me Bernie Marino is lying to distract Ohioans from his record of refusing to pay his employees and shredding evidence to get out of paying them what they earn.